spiritual seeking one day. This is Mam Rena, and today is week one, lecture one of mathematics in the modern world. Today we will discuss patterns in nature. Let's start with the learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to know how to define a pattern. Learn about the different kinds of patterns. And finally, appreciate patterns that exist in nature and the world. So let's start. Let's define a pattern. So what is a pattern? It is the regular and repeated way in which something happens or is done. Mathematics is sometimes called the science of pattern in the sense of rules that can be applied wherever needed. For example, the number sequences and math functions. Now, what patterns can be found on nature? What are patterns in nature? So these are visible regularities found in nature that can sometimes be modeled mathematically. Some patterns in nature are symmetries, fractals, spirals, tessellations, and stripes. There are also other kinds of patterns such as waves, cracks, and foams, but we are only going to focus on these five patterns. Let's start with symmetry. Objects that can be divided into identical halves are symmetrical. Let's look at the following examples. If we divide this photo, are we going to arrive with identical halves? Yes. So therefore, this tiger here is symmetrical. Next, let's look at this starfish. If we are going to divide it into certain portions, are we going to arrive with identical parts? Okay, in symmetry, it is not limited to identical halves. We can also divide a certain figure or a certain object into n parts. In this case, if we divide it into five parts, we are going to arrive with identical portions. This is called a five-fold symmetry. Now, let's look at this snowflake. How many times can we divide it into portions and still arrive with, with identical parts? Okay, correct. We can divide it into six parts and still arrive with identical portions. Therefore, this is a six-fold symmetry. Now, let's talk about fractals. A fractal is a detailed pattern that looks similar at any scale and repeats itself over time. An example is the Romanesco broccoli. This is the Romanesco broccoli. If we are going to zoom in to one of its portions, it will repeat the whole Romanesco broccoli. Let's zoom in a little closer. Still, it will repeat the pattern of the whole Romanesco broccoli. So no matter how much you zoom in, you will always arrive with a certain pattern that looks exactly the same as the original. Another popular example are three branches. If we zoom in a little closer, you will arrive with a pattern that looks like the original. 
Let's zoom in a little more closer. O, di ba? Magkakamuka lang sila. So, this is an example of a fractal. If you are going to look closer at a larger scale, you will def... That's what fractals are like. The original or the larger scale still looks like the smaller scales. Now, let's talk about spirals. In mathematics, a spiral is a curve which emanates from a point, moving farther away as it revolves around the point. Some popular examples are the nautilus shell, the curved horns of certain animals, and this spiral aloe. Now, let's talk about tessellations. Tessellations are patterns formed by repeating tiles all over a flat surface. For example, this is a sunflower. So if you will take notice on a flat surface, it will repeat the tiles over and over again. It has a pattern. Also, a honeycomb. So the patterns are the same in a flat surface. Now let's talk about stripes. These are parallel patterns that are commonly found in some animals. Popular examples are the stripes of a zebra and the stripes of a tiger. So, all of the patterns that we discussed earlier can be modeled mathematically. For this lesson, all we have to do is to distinguish patterns and also learn to appreciate patterns that exist in nature. Next time, we are going to talk about the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. So, please wait for further announcements. And see you next time. Bye!